from a black base coat, paint about one third of the rat with eschen grey. Paint a second third of the rats in Mournfang Brown. When placing these three rat colours, try to avoid too many cases of similar coloured rats next to each other. Paint the remaining rats with Rhinox Hide. Wash all of the rats with a mix of one to one black templar and contrast medium. Note this will dull down all of the individual colours of the rats, but don't worry, the highlight stage will bring out the three different tones. Paint all of the tails with Tuscore fur. Paint the skulls on the rats with skulls, and if there's a skull on the base, pick that as well in Wraithbone. Then wash all the bone areas with Skeleton Horde Contrast. Note this contrast paint is quite thin, so don't be shy. Make sure the brush is heavily loaded so that it sets into all the deeper recesses. Using Agrax Earthshade, shade the deeper areas of the skulls, both on the rats and on the base, um, namely the eye sockets. Also, you can use this as a slightly thinned down version to pick out the deeper areas on the flatter surfaces, such as the brow. This wash is also used on the tails. Paint the eyes with Mephiston Red. Um, you can save a bit of time by only painting the eyes that are easily visible. Paint the centre of the eyes then with Wild Rider Red, again emphasising the eyes that are clearly visible. To highlight the rats, starting with the ones that were base coated with Mordfang Brown, pick out the sharper edges with Doombull Brown. This includes anywhere like where the ribs are prominent, the ears around the face, or any sharper points on the limbs. Repeat this process for the rat's base coated in Eschen Grey using Mechanica Standard Grey. And for the rats that were painted with Rhinox Hide, pick out the sharper edges using Gorthor Brown.
The bone areas are edge highlighted with screaming skull. Note, I chose not to do any edge highlighting on the skull on the base, just so it looks a little more subdued than the actual models. You could leave the fur of the rat here, but I went back and added actually a second color highlight to each. So starting with the Mournfang brown rats, use scrag brown as an extreme highlight on the points such as on the ears and on the prominent areas on the body. For the Rhinox hide rats, pick out the sharpest edges using Bane blade brown. And for the Eshin Grey Rats, the sharpest edges were picked out using Administratum Grey. If you're feeling brave, you can go back and give one final dot highlight to the eyes using Uriel Yellow. And this is the finished result. This will work for all the rats forms, but for the large rat in the center in the one and three stands, I'd probably see us using a lighter gray color to make that stand out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to check out the channel, and I have a number of other Cursor painting tutorials.